Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our A10A and we're looking at using different types of bombs. Let's get right on it and get to the armament screen. First thing to say is to be able to rearm with bombs you need to have your canopy open and both engines off and spooled down. So we can have bombs on all pylons apart from 1 and 11. So let's just choose this one for instance. We go to bombs. We've got a rack of 3 times BDU-33 small size training bombs. We've got a rack of three Mark 82s, that's 500 pound dumb bombs that are slick. A rack of three Mark 82 airs, that's 500 pound dumb bombs with parachutes, uh, high drag. BDU 50 high drag, BDU 50 low drag. These are training bombs. I'm not sure of their size. I think they might be 2,000 pounds, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Then we've got the two cluster bombs. We've got a CBU 87 and a CBU 97. We'll be using at least one of those. And a single Mark 82, a single Mark 82 Air, and a single Mark 84, which is a dumb slick bomb of £2,000. So, let's get armed up. Let's put a CBU 97 in the middle. Next pylon will have Mark 84s. Next pylon will have three times Mark 82s. Next pylon, three times Mark 82 Airs and mirror. Request rearming. Copy. Okay, well that's arming up. Let's go and have a look at the controls that we're going to be using today. So to drop the bombs, we've got weapon release there. To move our TDC target designator around for the CCRP aiming mode, we're going to have target designator down, left, right and up. And target lock to lock the TDC. To change weapon, we've got weapon change there. To change to CCRP steering mode, we've got that there. To change the ripple uh, to change the size of the ripple interval we've got that there to change the ripple quantity that there and to change the pairs or single release uh, sub mode that there and we'll go through all this later so don't worry about it too much at the moment so that's okay to that okay I'm up and ready to go so let's get us started while we're doing that, let's talk about how we're going to employ these weapons. So we've got two type of aiming modes we can use. CCIP, continuously count calculated impact point. CCRP, continuously calculated release point. And depending on the type of bomb we're using and the type of attack we want to do, we'll decide whether we're going to use each mode. So for this one, here's the CBU 97. We could really use either mode, but we're going to use the CCRP mode. The Mark 84s here, we're going to drop them in a pair together and we're going to use the CCIP mode. The 6x Mark 83 low drags, we're going to dro uh, drop them with the CCRP in a ripple. And the low drags, 6 of them, we're going to drop these in a SAR CCRP in a ripple as well. A ripple means dropping a series of bombs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like that, rather than all at the same time or just one bomb on its own. For the CCIP drops, the Mark 84s, we'll be doing that from a dive bomb. And for all of the others with CCRP, we'll be doing level or more or less level bombing for that. Regards minimum release drops, it's going to be different for the different techniques. So we'll talk about that as we go through each of them. So now I'm just going to get ready and go and find some targets. Okay, we're airborne now and we've found a couple of guys. You can see we've got some hostiles there on the ground that we're going to attack. So the first thing to do is pull ourselves into air to ground mode with the 7 key. Air to ground and to select our relevant weapon. You can see the relevant weapon selected down here. So we're going to press weapon change. We're going to go for the Mark 84s first. Make a nice easy CCIP start. What we can say is that we've got Mark 84 selected, the low drag version, and we've got two of them. And here is our CCIP. By default, if you select a bomb, it will come up with CCIP terminology if you then you have to override it if you want to go to CCRP so what we're going to do is uh, check our this is our ordnance panel here this is how we set the drop up what we can say is that we've got pylons 5 and 7 selected and they're armed and and they're equipped and ready to drop now I want to drop these two together so one push button of the weapon release will drop two so what we want to do is change this knob here to pairs we're going to do that by pressing left shift and space once okay 
ready to go. Uh, now, regards uh, the technique for bombing. Basically, what I've learnt is that start from over 4,000 feet AGL. You can go higher if you want, but 4,000 is your minimum. Head down in a 10 to 20 degree dive. It'll probably end up being end up being more towards the 20 degrees. So regards speed, the most you can get out of it. Basically, it's a very slow plane. You can't really overspeed it. So punch the gas, full gas, and just get as fast as you can. So what I'm going to do is get in those parameters, go for that dive now, and we'll look at the sim uh, I CCIP symbology when it becomes more available. Full power. Diving at about uh, 12 degrees, something like that. 15 degrees now. And here we've got our symbol symbology just creeping on the screen here. Okay. <clears throat> So we've got all our usual stuff, our speed and altitude. We won't go through that. We'll just go through the target specific stuff. So what we've got is our bomb full line. This is this um, solid white, uh, sorry, solid green line here. This is where our bomb is going to fall. Then we have our CTIP impact point. That is where if we drop the bomb at this second and this, you know, um, attitude and speed and everything that we're going out at the moment, the bomb will impact right there at the bottom there. We've got our ranging circle here, um, which you can see it, it basically unwinds itself. So it will start up here fully and the inner layer will unwind itself. You can see it's half unwound at the moment and it starts unwinding, I believe, at two miles slant range, i.e. from me to the currently selected CCIP point. Next, we've got some guide markers here. We've got uh, ideal release queue here. So if this um, line here goes all the way down to the bottom of the CCIP line, then that is, and we drop it at that point, that is our ideal altitude for release. So rather than worrying about what altitude I want to drop this bomb at, that will tell me, the symbology tells me. And this one here is our minimum release. So if we let this here get to the bottom, of that line then and these will scroll down the line as we get closer then that is we've become too close if we close that line basically and we're going to damage ourselves with our bombs next we do have a number here we've got our slant range from us to the ccip target there in 0.9 uh, miles we've also got the same in meters over here 1756 meters this here is supposed to be the elevation of the target it does not appear to be working at the moment that's what it says in the manual no so for whatever reason, either I've got that wrong or that's not working. Uh, what else have we got? We've also got our CCIP for a gun. So when we're in any ground to air, air to ground attack mode, we can use our guns at the same time. So we've got a CCIP pipper for our guns here and a slant range, I believe that is there. That's all really, apart from just to say, so we're in a good aspect for the dive just to ensure that we keep as wings level as possible. If we rock about, roll about, speed up, slow down, pitch up, pitch down, this terminology, this symbology here will become less and less accurate. So what you wanted to do, I've cocked this up a bit, but from 5,000 feet, I should have chosen a target, got this dot basically on that target, and then just travel down and keep this dot on the target. Uh, easier said than done, really. But um, let's see if we can put a bomb on the target still. So we're waiting for our, our ideal uh, release queue to come down. Still coming down, still coming down, still coming down. And... Pull up, pull up. Drop and out. <laughs> Lovely little shack there with a couple of Mark 84s and that was in a paired release. So that's the only CCIP we're going to do. It's really easy as you can see there's not much to it. It gives you everything you need apart from your actual dive which you have to do yourself. Next is CCRB. A little more complicated but pretty cool. So what we're going to do next is weapon change. Select our Mark 82 low drag. Six of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a level CC. So when it comes to CCRP, it's not a dive, it's a level release, or more or less level, as level as you can keep. So we're going to fly above the target at about 1,000 feet. I always say for a low drag bomb, your minimum altitude, including cluster bombs, wants to be about 1,000 AGL or thereabouts. What we're going to do is turn around. We're going to then use the CCRP symbology to acquire a ground lock, an INS lock on the target, and then... That's all I want to say for the moment. So let me just get turned around. So for this, what I like to do is a targeting run and then a bombing run. You can do it all in one run if you like, but you put extra pressure on yourself and I'm certainly not very good at bombing, so I prefer to go and do it separately. So we're gonna turn around. 
Now what we want to do is to use our target designator up, down, left and right keys. And we can actually move this little guy here. He's called the TDC Pipper. And we're going to place them on, on the target. When we get it on the target with those keys, we're going to press target lock. That will lock, give us an INS ground lock then of that position. So let's go and do that. And go nice and slow if we want for this. Within reason. So what I like to do is zoom in as much as I can and lock. So I've locked it right on that dude there. Now, um, I don't have to touch anything now. It's now INS locked. I can go fly wherever I want and that will stay locked to that target. It will show its, air, its direction on the HUD to tell me where to turn back to it. So now I'm going to go in for my bomb run. So I'm going to fly out towards sea to get me um, some distance. I'm going to come in at an altitude roughly a thousand feet. Uh, sorry, no, we need to set our bombs up first. So we want to put these bombs in a ripple. So let's have a look at our ordnance panel down here. Uh, so we've got here is the quantity of bombs we want in the ripple. Here is whether we want them in singles or pairs, ripple or non-ripple. And here is our time in milliseconds between each bomb dropping. I want to drop them in singles with a ripple. So that is going to be uh, left shift and space to select this here. And I want six bombs here. So left control and space. Press it until you've got six. We've got six of them. And um, this guy here, we press the V key to change the amount of milliseconds. And I want 0. I don't know. Uh, pff, uh, yeah, 0. 0.2 seconds between each drop. I have no idea really, but let's give that a go just to show that it works. So let's head out to sea a little and report back in when we're on our way in. Okay, we're going to start turning in now. So our altitude at the drop wants to be at a minimum of 1,000 feet because they're low drag bombs. The maximum doesn't really matter, but the lower down we can get close to 1,000 feet, the more accurate we're going to be, basically. So we're following our target marker here. And we want to arrange ourselves so that we'll be coming, because we've got a long a length of targets, and we're going to ripple, we want to come in along their axes. So let's try and something like this is going to be good. The next thing we want to do is we're going to press the O key and this is going to change us from CCIP to CCRP steering mode. So we're going to press O now. And we've got some new symbology here. It's similar to what we've seen before but slightly different. So we've got this line here now. And this is our CCRP steering line. We control this line with our aircraft. And the, our job now is to align it so that it is vertically aligned with this here, the target point. And we're going to do that. We're going to keep flying roughly level. Um, ideally down at a thousand feet if we can. We're not going to press the weapon release button. Um, the computer will drop the bombs as per our specification down here when it's ready to drop them. As regards range, there's not much we need to know. We've got a range in circle here. This is, in this case, this is kind of um, like, a, like a countdown rather than actual range. It's a countdown to when the bombs are going to drop. Also, when we're within a certain range, this target market starts at the top here of this plan line and slowly moves down to the bottom and once it hits the bottom the bombs are going to drop and that's all we need to know otherwise we've just got to fly the plane so let's just try and get this right I'm just trying to get level with the path uh, the road still altitude's a little high but I'm not too bothered about that and you can see everything start to fall in line in the middle with that those three s symbols get them bang in line right now, interestingly, we're not actually worrying about the target at the moment. Uh, it just so happens this line is falling over the target, obviously. But what I'm trying to do really is to get that box mainly aligned with this line. Just follow the symbology and it, it will do the rest for you. Altitude's coming down, so I'm going to start levelling up now. Uh, pretty happy with that. You see the box is coming down. Oh, I've just scooed off to the side a little bit. Oh, at the last minute, I think I may have wrecked that. And bombs are dropping. Fingers crossed. Uh, sim. No, I missed. Didn't I miss there? Blasting goddamn. So you saw at the very last minute, I just panicked and started waving left and right. That's, well, typical me. I'm not a very good bomber. But you get the idea of how to do that. So what we're going to do now is the same thing, basically but with high drag bombs. Weapon select to select the high drag. So you can see we've got Mark 82 Air, six of them. It's gonna be the same symbology. Now it won't remember the CCRP mark point on the ground. We'll have to go for another designating pass and redesignate and then go around again. We're basically gonna repeat the process. The only thing different this time is going to be that because they are high drag bombs, we can go much lower. Much lower means more accuracy because and we can go lower because the balls, the bombs fall a lot slower so we can go in at kind of all the way down to kind of 200 feet i guess if we wanted to regards speed i forgot to say with the last pass and this pass and all passes as fast as the a10 will go 
um, I, I recommend. Right, let's turn around and do it again. I scratch that. I think we might have actually got some. We did. Yeah, maybe. Um, one thing to note is um, that also I felt that our bomb ripples weren't quite long enough to cover the convoy. So we'll also increase our ripple size this time. Right, let's try and get this uh, on target. So I'm going to scroll with TDC lock. Let's try and get this mother right at this end. Boom, right there. Right, let's head out to sea and let's go and get our stuff done again. So, back down here, we've got six bombs already selected. We've got Ripple single. I'm happy with all of that. I just want to change my milliseconds up a bit. So, the V key. Let's try 25. That's a, what, 25% increase? Yeah, let's try that. Write our report back when I'm ready to turn in. Okay, we're turning in again. Everything the same, except this time we're going to go a, a, a bit lower. So, we're going to turn on our CCRP steering mode again. Let's try and get nicely aligned. Again, like I said, the lower we go, the more accurate we'll be able to get this. Just going to splay up to the side a little, trying to get a perfect run down here. Taking this chance to set my trim up. Trim is pretty good. Get as fast as we possibly can. 800 feet. A little bit of dive, why not? Altitude, altitude. Yes, Betty. Uh, still a little bit high. Altitude, altitude. Got it, the symbology centered. A little bit high, but it's going to be okay, I think. Right, don't panic this time. Don't panic. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Okay, finally, I want to use my last drop, which is going to be my CPU 97. Got it selected here. It's a single munition. We drop it, explodes over the target, and drop several sub munitions, which destroy the vehicles. We're going to do it in another CCRP drop because I think I need to practice. So this time, I'm going to squeeze the attack and the aiming pass all into one run. So let's see if we can get that done. One thing to point out when you're heading cold from the target like this, put plenty of distance between you and the target. But the biggest mistake I see is people turning around and turning hot just after half a mile or a mile or something like that. It doesn't give them enough time to aim the weapons properly and uh, causes them all sorts of problems. So I think that's just about enough. Don't really need to run down the line of the road this time because it's only a single munition drop. Doesn't really matter we've got selected on the ordnance panel either because um, it's only one munition. I'm going to head in. First of all we're going to do our targeting. We'll slow down to do that to give us as much time as we can. Zoom in. Whoops. See if we can get that somewhere useful. How accurate is that, do we think? A little bit of adjustment. Yeah, bang on that is. Right, we're going to go straight into our CCI, CCRP drop. So steering mode on. Just keep everything centered. I'm going to get lower because um, we're a little bit high at the moment, I think. So just going to keep my line centered with this box and the pipette inside it. That's what I'm trying to do at the moment. And it'll drop automatically when it's ready. So I've gone a bit to the right, so let's go left. Level that out. A bit to the left again. Start to level out pitch-wise. I like to zoom into the HUD like this to give me maximum detail that I can. Ever so slightly to the right. Just realise I'm off the power, so back on the power. That's pretty good. Get pretty level all the way. Bomb away. Let's trim out and go and watch that. So the main casing has now exploded and these bomblets are heading down. that sir has finished off our convoy so we've been through cluster bombs we've been through slick dumb bombs slick dumb large bombs 
hydrag bombs. Uh, we've showed CCRP targeting and CCIP targeting. Uh, that's all I can think of. I hope that helps and see you later.